What's going on, guys? Flynn Steel Five here, and um, yeah, this is a hard video for me to make because my bearded dragon Nate, who if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, um, you should know who Steve is by now. He's my bearded dragon. I'm sorry, my mouth is um dry. But he is really sick right now. Um, and I don't really know how to talk about this, but I'm going to try. Um, he is constipated and has not been eating for a while. Um, for, I'd say, like, three to four days, I've been trying, like, I'd sit with him for, like, an hour, trying to get him to eat. Um, uh, tried force feeding, but that does, that didn't work well. Um, and he's, we found out today he's constipated. Um, the hardest part about this is that to me, he's like my best friend. He's like the only one I can talk to because I, I don't have anyone, any friend to hang out with outside of school or out or in school too. Um, but Um, so this is hard for me. Um, I've been through like seven, I've had seven bearded dragons who went through this. And it's always around Christmas time. It's like never around summer, fall, spring, never around March. Never, it's always in this either December or January, those two months. Um, that's the, and then people accuse me of being the Grinch because I don't like Christmas. I don't mind if anyone else celebrates it, but for me, I will celebrate it, but it's not like something that really makes me happy or excited. Um, because Steve's like the only one I'm able to talk to. Um, and I talk to him about like school life. You know, I know like a lot of people will think it's weird that I talk to my pet, but is all I have left. Feels like. Um, but. Yeah. Because I have always been that one. Anxious kid. Who's scared to make friends. Because they see what. Truly goes on. How I truly feel about. Every, anything um, they'd leave so I'd scared to make one friend um, at school so yeah um, so I've been kind of going through mental breakdowns and I'm just trying to get him to eat Like, I've been trying everything these past few days, and right now it's starting to seem hopeless. Um, it feels like he's not going to make it. 
Um, I've still been, I've never, and, and I'm not planning on giving up. I am ever, and sorry, it's just harder for me to talk because I've always been that person who has abandonment issues and attachment issues. Um, so it's been, so it's hard for me when I lose anything, anyone or anything, even if I'm talking to someone for a few days and they leave, like, it's hard emotionally and mentally. But yeah. And I want you to come on here just to talk about it because in case anyone wonders, because in case I take a break from YouTube and people wonder why, because um, if I take a long break from YouTube, it's because he died. So it's going to be hard on me really mentally. Why I'm I'm trying to prepare for for that um emotionally so but yeah I don't know if it's because of the cold or what but I've been like I've been entire mess the entire day so. Yeah. Anyway. Because, like, school, like, I always look forward to talking to him at school. I mean, after school, not at school. I can't take him to school. But just holding him and Everything is like therapeutic to me. It's like there. It's like my therapy. So, um, so I feel like I feel like he's not gonna make it. So, um, yeah, that's gonna be it for today, guys. We'll see you next time.